as we noted for Penn State, their leading scorer, Jalen Pickett, a guy who they were trying to get rolling, gets fouled, and that was a dream start for the Nittany Lions. He has struggled, and they really want to get the ball in his hands. Intercepted into the hands of the leading scorer for the Big Red, Chris Mannon, who falls away in the paint, knocks down the jet. And that's how they want to play. Cornell wants to get out, push that ball. Seth Lundy returned the most points from a season ago on this Penn State team. Knocks down his first chance of the game. 6-2 start for Penn State. Again, the shot clock's at 10. Again, the fastest-paced team at Cornell, and they're waiting for the shot clock to get all the way down. Good defensive possession. Cornell still scores on it. It resulted in a three for Cornell. Really good offense. 10-3 run for the Big Red. Make it 13-3, and they're up by two. And granted, a, a D3 team, but that's a big win nonetheless. And playing with a lot of energy right now. Another three goes down. This time, Nazir Williams has to go back to the 2010 NCAA tournament. Knocked off Wisconsin in the second round. Hera has something to say about that. Trying to get himself involved. A chance to make the seven point game. Cornell is led for much of this first half. Sessoms again. They went under. And he made him pay. Just simple action again. Sessoms looking for his fourth three. He got it. Two and one start on the season under their first year head coach, Micah Shrewsbury. Nice little two man game there from Pickett and Hera. And Hera converts. Great footwork down low by John Hera. The double team was there. He was able to split the double team with his feet. Really good job. And now great defensive energy by him as well. Five-point edge for the Nittany Lions. Seth Lundy tees up for three and drains it. Seth Lundy, one of just five players in the Penn State roster who played a season ago. There's a lot of turnover as Patel gets to the rim. Great answer there by Cornell State. A turnover at the other end. Dean Knoll tracked all the way back. He mentioned really good answer. Here's Patel. Continues the answer. It's a 7-0 run to be exact. Another turnover on back-to-back -back possessions. Patel tees up another. Got it! Then, you know, relocate. That's where he got a couple of threes as well. Cornell likes those back cuts. This time on the finishing end is Nazir William. Cornell's largest lead was 10. Penn State at one point led by 8. Sessoms lobs it up. On the finishing end is Jelani White. Two-point game, Cornell trying to answer. That one couldn't quite go down for Dean Knoll, but the follow-up attempt does, and a free throw coming up. Cornell, Princeton offense, you would not say fastest in the country. Well, Jelani White answers. He was trying to go for a second consecutive dunk. He baked down the final stretch for Cornell. Whipping it around, Lundy, little flyby. Lundy drains the tray. They attacked the press there. They got to the paint. They went to the corner. They swung around for a wide open three. High game. Patel has something to say about that, though. Answers right back. Chris Mannon, a little fall away. Jay couldn't connect. Flying in goes Dixon. It's Penn State team shooting 50% from the field on the game. Sessoms blocked by Dixon. Rebound finds Pickett. Doesn't really have anyone with him, so he takes it himself and gets an and one opportunity. Yeah, this is a game that Penn State should have dominated the glass. And, and you look at it, Cornell still beating him 33 to 30 on the board. The guard from Philadelphia finds Dread. One on the shot clock. Sessoms hoist and hits. Seth Lundy leading all Penn State scores with 23. Under five to play. Sessoms looking for another. Book it! Board to Nazir Williams. He'll take it himself. Swatted away by Pickett. Under two minutes to go. A big block. Great defense by Pickett. Two for two after Cornell at the opposite end had gone 0 for two with the free throw line. Dolan was blocked. Hera 
At six foot nine, there to swat it out of bounds. Well, Penn State will come out on top.